From the window of the descending airplane, Casablanca looked more of the color of the dust, not that of a white city. This is the beginning of our whirlwind nine-day tour of Morocco, a country on the west side of Africa. The city Casablanca is probably more famous than Morocco itself because of Ingrid Bergman, the movie Casablanca, and the song by Buddy Higgins, a love story, a eternal theme of human longing and aspiration. We started our Morocco trip at the Casablanca, drove about 1,300 miles to all famous sites in Morocco, and then back to Casablanca to leave for home. And we were lucky that we traveled to Morocco just before the pandemic hit. Rick's Cafe is a restaurant. It was designed to recreate the bar made famous by the movie Casablanca. Rex Cafe was developed originally by an American diplomat in Morocco. The restaurant is housed in the traditional Moroccan mansion when the essential courtyard. Its street front entrance is adorned with heavy wooden doors that depict that of the film. Once inside, we had a short self-oriented tour of curved arches a sculpted bar, balconies, balustrades, as well as the beaded and the stencil, the brass lighting, and the plants that cast the luminous shadows on white walls. The food at Rick's Cafe was okay, drinks were expensive, vegetables a bit salty. Its service was also okay, but it did not give us any hint of it being a romantic hideout. Seriously, it was just a restaurant, you can't expect more from it. The history part of Casablanca is represented by the Hassan II Mosque, one of the largest mosques in the world. It is one of the few mosques in Morocco that allowed non-Muslims to enter the interior. Its magnificent building complex overlooks the Atlantic Ocean with high walls, tall stone columns, exquisite mosaics, and carved stucco. At the end of the trip, when we got back to Casablanca, Christmas was in full swing. Out on the road, we didn't have the slightest idea that Christmas was celebrated in Morocco. But in the city, cotton candy, Christmas tree, and Santa Claus, and other holiday decorations were everywhere inside the Moroccan wall. The world will have the true peace where everyone could coexist on this planet Earth, no matter what time of the year you want to have a good time, like this December in Casablanca. On the second day of our trip, with our driver and guide Yosef, we departed for Marrakesh. We welcome you to join us on this seven-part Moroccan experience of ours.